And welcome again to the big match. Today we put the spotlight on the third division player who never seems to be out of the headlines, Ted McDougall of Bournemouth. Today's Sunday People picks up the fact that he was watched yesterday by the Spurs assistant manager Eddie Bailey and asks, but is he worth £200,000? Well, that's something we should be answering today because Brentford against Bournemouth is our main match. And after it, Ted McDougall talks about his growing restlessness for first division football and manager John Bond admits that it might be sooner than later that he gets that chance. Well, also today, an outstanding game from the First Division, Manchester United against Derby County, the champions. And for our bonus match, we have the Midland Derby game from the Second Division, Nottingham Forest against Aston Villa. But our first main match at Griffin Park, Brentford, where so many eyes of the fans, the critics, and the usual scouts were on Ted McDougall. 47 League and Cup goals last season is the sort of bait to attract clubs from every division. It makes McDougall a marked man on the field, but in spite of that, he's amongst the goals again this season. With five, he is again Bournemouth's leading scorer. So, Ted McDougall lines up against this Brentford side that began the season so well, but now they've slipped. But back into the team today for this match comes number 11, John Doherty, after injury, and the amateur Paul Priddy returns to goal. As for the Bournemouth side, Tommy Mitchinson is back after injury to wear the number 10 shirt, and the game has its full share of personalities besides Ted McDougall. There are three former West Ham players, Bobby Howe at number three, he's one of them. Then at number six is the Bournemouth skipper, Keith Miller. And then a former great favourite up in park, Harry Redknapp, wearing the number seven shirt. And then, of course, there's Jimmy Gabriel, bought recently from Southampton. And in the Brentford side, David Jenkins, who recently had spells both with Arsenal and with Spurs. So Bournemouth in their blue and black striped shirts. Kick off defending the goal to our right against Brentford in the red and white striped shirts on a Griffin Park pitch that looks in wonderful condition thanks to their groundsman John Stepney. Bournemouth who started rather indifferently at this season are now beginning to come into form and here's Harry Redknapp. Bents to bring it away for Brentford who quite the reverse started brilliantly and at one point was second in the uh, third division push over there by Gabriel but now Brentford have lost their last four games. Bobby Ross brought down by Jimmy Gabriel. And so it's going to be Terry Scales with Brentford's free kick. And Gabriel was right up there again over his own crossbar for the corner to Brentford. It's going to be number eight, Mike Allen, former Middlesbrough player, to take the corner for Brentford. Jimmy Gabriel, always uh, full of shouting, formerly with Everton and Southampton, organising that Bournemouth defence, and it curls in again, and not it down, and does it go over? Yes, it goes over, and uh, Lockerty is given the credit for it, and Bournemouth's Fred Davis, the uh, goalkeeper, obviously felt there was something wrong with it, but with a minute and a half gone, John Doherty just back in the Brentford side from that corner. A bit of a scrimmage there and finally pushed over and Brentford get just the start they want. Scored by John Doherty, who'd missed seven games through injury. Really makes a tremendous comeback for Brentford. Well, Brentford who've had so little to cheer in the last uh, few weeks, having lost those four successive games. And that really has got Griffin Park humming. Jenkins trying to turn it in, but Cave was too quick for him. McDougall's first touch of the ball, finding Phil Boyer. And Bents, the number seven on his back, but clearly going to be playing hard in midfield. Doherty, the scorer, back now. And Murray's ball cut out in fact by Mel Machin who turns it back to Fred Davis Bobby Howe now high ball there towards Mickey Cave trying to breast it down there for Mitchinson Cave again turning it now for Miller Redknapp wanting it over on the right but it's with Machin again and now with Redknapp David Jones right in there, swept there wide towards McDougall. And Paul Pretty, the amateur goalkeeper, formerly with Maidenhead and Southall.
Bournemouth throw. Jimmy Gabriel. Machen. Paulie, not a good one there by Machen. Collision there, and I would have thought six of one half dozen the other, and the referee quite right to allow it to go on. Doherty, played back again for Hawley. Ross, Brentford buzzing a bit at the moment, tried to reach Jenkins, and that was very nearly turned in there by Mike Allen. But now it's Gabriel. Gabriel again with the throw. Boyer. And again a throw to Bournemouth. Harry Redknapp. Mitchinson coming towards him. Oh, and then losing it completely. And it's with Doherty again for Brentford. Swept wide. As Brentford take it up again now through Alan Murray Jenkins on ahead of him Murray still going on and he just gets that out nicely for Hawley hit hard but into the side setting from Alan Hawley another long-standing player in this Brentford side made over 250 appearances for them Fred Davis used to play for Cardiff and for Wolves Welsh under 23 formerly Nelms, another good jump. Miller, Cave, Keith Miller again, and Al Machin. Another of these fullbacks who likes to come along, and he's got a bit of a shot on him, but that's the ball that seeks out Phil Boyer. Cross back nicely, but Nelms cutting it out. Cave going in there, making it quite clear to Alan Nelms that you can't dwell on the ball too long because Bournemouth are very busy and very eager indeed to get back that goal they lost in the first 90 seconds. Alan Nelms there. And Bournemouth's corner. David Jones, the big number five, has gone up. McDougall will be a man they'll aim for. There's McDougall. Oh, having a little go there with Bobby Ross, too. But McDougall still got there with his head and not a very good fist away. Boyer trying to lay it there for his number 10, Mitchinson. Mitchinson still going in and finally Bent's bringing it away. Scales. A long way clear, it'll be the pace of Jenkins against two from Bournemouth, and Bobby Howe got in first. Number three, Howe. Flicked nicely wide of uh, the number six, Murray, to the other number six, Miller, into the path of McDougal. He rather missed out on that one, and now McDougal's away. Still McDougal, and a fine save by Pretty. That was a good piece of goalkeeping from McDougal. Someone comes onto the pitch to mob McDougal, which I don't think the referee... Yes, he has just spotted that. And why on earth someone should want to come on and do that, I don't know. But the goalkeeper is also in a bit of trouble. And still that fellow is allowed to walk around the pitch. Well, maybe the uh, policeman there taking a hand with the fellow who came onto the pitch. He must have caught it hard in the stomach, pretty, as he uh, dived at the feet of McDougall, got the ball hard in his stomach. Well, there goes the interloper. And uh, Paul Pretty all right again, having saved Brent Brentford brilliantly, and we get a throw to Bournemouth with Jimmy Gabriel. Boyer. Murray sticking with him. Redknapp with a chance to cross it, flicked on by Mitchinson. Dougal in there! Oh, and McDougal almost got it, and he did! Ted McDougal! That was a wonderful piece of reaction by McDougal. Having got it in on the first pass to got on the post, was so quick to get the rebound in to make the equaliser then for Bournemouth. 1-1. One, one. So two goals in the first 11 minutes.
and the player so many people have come to watch, Ted McDougall, the man rated at something like £200,000 by Bournemouth, has scored one of them. So now it's Allen again for Brentford. Crossing again, and Ross, a nice back header there, and Howe watching it all the way. Keeping Murray off as well, that was uh, Bobby Ross, a neat little back flick there in the Alan Gilzean style. Bence up above them all, so was Gabriel. Bence going in again. Boyer now. Well, Howe went a tumbling there, but it's going to be a Bournemouth throw. Boyer, playing rather deep and always coming away from his defence, or rather from the Brentford defence. Machin making ground quickly, and Nelms cutting it out for Brentford. Redknapp with his uh, socks already down by his ankles, finding Mel Machin. Redknapp, trying the left foot cross this time. Miller was uh, rather getting in the way of McDougall, if anything, there. Jones. That might be just a little too hard, even for Boyer. No, he kept that in well, Boyer. Miller, crossed again there. Again, McDougall right in. And Redknapp turning it back again. And will it go? No, it won't. But it looked as though both Cave and McDougall must force it home. Neither of them could quite manage it. And Brentford breathe again. Machin. To Gabriel. Bournemouth playing some neat football now as Mitchinson takes it up. Boyer off in chase once more. And Brentford, Nelms and uh, Gelson between them, forced into an error that gives Bournemouth the corner.